Well, it's been rumored, and uh, the rumors are true. We're having a second season of Diamond Dialogue. I'm not sure why they keep letting me do this, but uh, yeah, we'll just keep going here. So, <laughs> anyway, on this episode, we have uh, Sergeant Muffin joining us. It's Dan Christensen. Greetings, Tinvec. Hello. <laughs> So uh, you guys may know Dan from, uh, uh, or you may know him as Sergeant Muffin from the chat room, and uh, he built BrickSlap.tv. We're working on, uh, in fact, the two of us are working on um, the second version of Diamond Club or Diamond Club.tv to go up, so we can get some mm -hmm. interesting, oh yes. new new things going on. It's all very hush hush though. So uh, <laughs> if it gets out, people are going to start dying. Yeah, yeah, we can't. We can't it's can't it's inevitable. <laughs> Well, here we'll get we'll get right in with the questions here. So, uh, what what are the origins of your chat handle? Oh, interesting. Um, the name came about oh uh, about probably 12, 13 years ago, and we were playing Unreal Tournament. It was pretty much when I think UTO three was, uh, you know, still out and still being played, and we were being little assholes, young kids. We were going into servers, seeing how many we can get banned from in a short period of time, yeah. and my friend used the name Sergeant Pepper. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then I'll just, I picked uh, army rank and I decided just going with the same one. And I picked a food product at the time. <laughs> I just combined random shit and, uh, just, you know, went along with it and it kind of stuck with me. You know, when you start producing something and you use that name, you, you got to stick with it. Cause that's what people know you for. Um, yeah. and it's, it's fine. You know, <laughs> when I was younger, I kind of hated it that I picked it, but I like it. Yeah, it's a fairly innocuous name. So it's still works yeah. for you. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I ended up having to do a similar thing with Tinvec because my my real name is so common on the internet. I I'm just impossible to find if you search for it there. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have a handle that if you search for that, it's gonna be me, and that's it. <laughs> so worked out. Well, I appreciate good. on your uh, DC TVpedia page. It says that it's an anagram for Vincent. It is. It's an anagram for my <laughs> middle name. So <laughs> nice. Um, so what's your favorite non-tech activity? I know we all have a lot of tech activities we do, but what, what do you do when you're not sitting in that chair oh um you know most most of the things daily revolve around tech although uh when i'm not on a computer i'm usually doing something work related um work at a family business so you know common things maybe doing some um cleaning up things like that i just like to stay busy and fortunately most of it revolves around tech so i'm remotely happy because it's always things <laughs> i relatively like doing Right. You said your family had a business. What's, uh, what's the business, if I may ask? Oh, sure. Uh, I'm not going to reveal the name, although it's if anyone digs hard enough, they'll find it. But um, it's, it's a heating and cooling business, and mm. we do other things to commercial real estate. Uh, we dabbled in it. We still do a little bit of it and uh, some tank construction, things like that. For example, farms that might want to get an actual big fuel tank installed. Uh, oh, yeah. To save money, so they don't have to go through a, a third party. They can just buy right from the uh, supply. Yeah, that's, that's so, actually pretty yeah. cool. And the nice part is, I you know I deal with most of the computer stuff in between all the different businesses. There's always something to do, yeah. so that's it's great. You know, a lot of a lot of flexibility and a lot of interesting projects. No, that's that's really cool. So, um, do you use Twitter? Obviously, you have a Twitter handle. What's the What's yes, your sir. favorite Twitter account that you follow? Like, whether it's for for humor or for insight or or whatever. You know, um, I don't really have a specific one. I what I like to do, and in the past, I was following people like celebrities, and I didn't really find it interesting. Uh, what I really enjoy now is I I try to get rid of a lot of the ones that I truly don't care about, and starting to follow chat realm, and I'm starting to, you know, see what they're up to, what they're interested in that that I really like to follow. Um, you know, I, I'm looking through it right now, actually, as we're, uh, as we're talking and, uh, it's just, it's neat to see. It's kind of like a mini form of Reddit, you know, yeah. we got Travis posting, uh, uh, Simpsons photos and <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah, I don't really, I don't use Twitter to follow a specific person. It's more like, I just, I just like a mixture of, you know, uh, I have about hundred people that I'm following. Oh, good. And, uh, yeah, it's mostly, mostly people I know or have talked to right <laughs> yeah i, I have a yeah. I, I follow mostly chat room like like you do too and of course i follow the hosts of the shows and stuff like that but uh, i also like like i have nas i follow the nasa twitter account because there's just amazing pictures they put on there sometimes but yeah there's a few cool few cool ones around well awesome yeah in all honesty i don't <laughs> i don't open twitter too often um it's usually when i ran out of things to look at on either facebook or reddit 
I jump to Twitter. Right. Now that makes perfect sense. <laughs> All right, so you're given a, a superpower. What what is what is the superpower, and what's the first thing you do with it? Oh gosh, I would say super strength, and I would just like to destroy a building, maybe toss it up in the air. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm a very destructive person. Yeah, just go uh, go all Hulk on the building. <laughs> oh yes, very explosive anger. I don't ever get explosive at people, but if it's an object, oh my god, the yeah. amount of Nintendo 64 controllers I went through as a kid. It was embarrassing. Yeah, you're pretty good at that percussive I mean, sir, maintenance, huh? And it and it didn't help that on the uh, other side of the TV was a concrete wall. So oh. whatever met the wall did not come back in one piece. <laughs> and <laughs> fortunately, I can keep it uh, keep it mostly under control. But yeah, yeah. oh, that's 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 pretty that's pretty. Good. <laughs> so it's just I don't know. It'd just be kind of fun to I don't know. Uh, like on MythBusters, you know, they they take amazing overpowered things and uh, either blow it up. I'd rather just. See what gravity does. Yeah. Muffin smash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's, that's oh, awesome. Hulk. Yeah, right? <laughs> so if you could move to any planet, you know, real or fictional from wherever, um, what would it be? Uh, you know, which planet would it be? And uh, what would you live in? What kind of house would you have? Ooh, good question. I would say, you know, Earth is pretty good because it's, I don't know, but I'm thinking move to something like maybe the moon. You know, I don't want to be too far away, but sure. low gravity yeah, makes you feel more comfortable. Yeah, that's like, what, a, uh, a two-day space shuttle ride? It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and then you don't cool. lose connection. You know, you go too far, and <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't really, I'm not too much into sci-fi, so I'm not, you know, particularly uh, up-to-date with the options for some of these unique planets, but um, the ones that are existent would probably just be the moon, and it's not really a planet, but... Eh, it's close enough. It's a yeah. body orbiting something. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And yeah. it's something you can land on, right? Oh, yeah. Well, and, you know, they plan to, uh, to, to bring the internet to the moon soon, apparently. Um, oh, nice. Well, space internet, which, you know, if, they're, if they want to put... <laughs> it, yeah, it's no different than satellite internet. <laughs> right. And they want to put stuff on the moon. You just point the space to internet the other way, you know, and you're all good to go. <laughs> there you go. They've actually been talking about um, if they can work out the dust problem sending robots to the moon to build solar panels so because because oh, of the nice. way that, that it works yeah you, you and then you beam the energy back using like microwaves or lasers or whatever the the most efficient way is but as, that'd be pretty cool too to, to set that up and then you can communicate with the, the robots up there oh yeah that'd be great so you talked a little bit about working for for your family business is is that like your day job or do you have a, another yeah. job you do for a living oh okay Nope, um, it's that. I, on the side, you know, I'll do some computer uh, assistance. Um, there's some local businesses that know me personally, and I just they they all call and say, "Yeah, we're you know the local guy isn't really helping us right now. Could you help us out?" And you know, I take a run over, do some basic stuff. Yeah. It's hard to commit to something very uh, in depth though, because you you don't want to leave someone out to dry, especially if you just don't have time to get back to them. So yeah. it's been it's it's a, it's a hard line to to draw. Is where do you call it quits? Yeah, I, I have a, I tend to deal with a little bit of that too, but it's mostly for personal people, like just friends or, or family members that just just don't get technology. <laughs> and I try, I really try to help them, and sometimes it's more effective than others. <laughs> yeah, an interesting thing too. What I had to do recently for someone is I had to put deep freeze on their computer because I couldn't trust them. Oh, the amount of times that I had to work on their computer, and there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. it's just that they don't they don't understand that when they're installing something that it's installing some additional stuff because they were just too quick to jump through. And um, now I just have it. They reboot the computer and it's back the way it was. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a couple people I should use that for. <laughs> like the, after the fourth time they call me, my computer's all slow again. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because you tried to install that flash player 12 <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah. Except you went to Google and type download flash player and you went to some ad. Yep. <laughs> you got some mad you got flash eventually and i'm not even she sure she did little, uh, little <laughs> tools with it and i'm pretty sure she never actually got flash installed <laughs> yeah that was, it was pretty bad i mean of course i ended up helping her out and wiping all oh, that yeah. crap off her computer and and did it remotely because she lives in new york but oh, okay yeah, impatience is key and it sounds like you got a lot of it 
at times. <laughs> Depends on <laughs> at the At least person. when I see you, you got it. Yeah. Well, I mean, if the person is nice, I can, I have eternal patience, you know, but if the person has little patience for me, then why am I going to reciprocate? <laughs> you know, so. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I talked about Brickslap TV at the at the top of the yeah. show. Um, what inspired you to to build it, and and maybe describe a little bit about it for for anybody that's not oh, familiar? Oh, sure. Well, prior to that, I ran a gaming community for about ten years, you know, give or take, maybe eight or nine. But uh, it started under ProjectileWaffle.com. It also goes back to proof that I just make random shit up for names. Um, but it was a site and a clan for UTO four, and uh, it was where I plant. I I spent like high school I, every night i just sit there and make more maps for the game it was it was really really addicting and uh yeah just started a small community with that we changed it because people are like projectile waffles kind of stupid and i said i agree and then we shortened it to pwc gaming the c stood for community so um that's what we ran for i don't know till last year and then it uh closed it down um and then I, I always have to have some project I do. So I converted into, okay, all of us are now playing games. We're, you know, Twitch streaming. And originally it was just intended for people I know, like actually know to stream with. But when I realized that, you know, it was it was fun for a while, but it kind of lost its, its luster, I guess. Uh, and then it was at that time too, I was kind of getting into the chat room all the time and, oh, sure. um, you know, getting involved. And I'm like, why not just redo and kind of make a better version of diamond club tv where we already have a bot that knows how to scan channels every minute figure out what's live and it would do that so you know with time you guys who might have saw the site early it was pretty crappy but it worked <laughs> and then added on more features we added some cool playlists i uh tried to mimic the diamond club playlist system the same way so when you're um viewing the site you know it just uses youtube and it yeah. syncs everyone within one or two seconds. About as close as and you can we, ask yeah. for. <laughs> yeah. And then we are you know, did the new channel, which is getting a lot of views. It's the most popular one by far is the music channel. And uh, getting hundreds of submissions for songs in there. That's awesome. Um, so I, that, yeah, it, it's amazing. I have to and, say, uh, I, I, did, <laughs> I did put Rick Astley on there and vote him up. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and you can. That's, that's the power of it. The right? votes cannot be modified by us. Um, the control panel lets us delete it, but we cannot modify how the votes work. And the algorithm pretty much says as long as it stays above zero, it's going to stay on there. So feel free to go back every six hours and uh, vote it up. And vote it up again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's awesome. There's actually been some really cool music that's come across there that I hadn't heard of before. You know, it's kind of a, an interesting discovery system for... Uh, especially for you know, kind of within chat realm and people that have similar tastes in in most respects. So, well, yeah, and you know, I'm one of those persons where I don't really particularly hate any uh, sort of music. And the thing is, I, half of these people on here I've never heard of before, but it's it's nice just to have it up on a screen and keep it up, and you're hearing some great music, and then you get some random ones where it's <laughs> either a troll, which uh, might have just been stuff I've uploaded, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's just, it, it's fun. You, you get kind of blindsided. If if you're not paying attention, you just don't know what's coming up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, I, I actually listen to it pretty often when, when I run out of podcast, you know, when I finish up my podcast for the day, then I'll switch over and listen to music for the rest of the day. And yeah, there's there's all sorts of good, well, mostly good stuff that comes through there. So <laughs> no, that's that's awesome. I mean, you said you like to have projects all the time. I know you're a, you're a programmer like I am. So what's your, what's your favorite programming language to, to code in? Uh, be sure. it front end, um, back end, you know. Yeah, well, believe it or not, I wasn't always really a programmer, and I guess I'm still learning a lot. I, I'll be the first one to tell you I'm not, you know, I, I'm making things work, but I'm probably not using some of the included things that might make it work better. Mm. Uh, so what really got me into web programming, and that's pretty much what I stick to now, is uh, for Unreal Tournament, again, kind of going back earlier, um, I realized that the global band system, kind of like, you know, Gary's Mod Bands or Source Bands is today, uh, they had a system where your server could communicate with theirs and they could get a blacklist of people that are known cheaters, known pirated keys to, to keep the server a little more clean. Oh, and sure. yeah, they just closed the doors. Um, and I'm like, well, hang on. Why don't I try to bring it back? <laughs> so I rolled out a service called Llama Punter. And the only reason it's named that is at the time I had a domain vengeful llama. And I thought that would it would work and I didn't have to get rid of the domain name. So uh, that's that's the site and it 
still is uh, receiving when players connect to a server that uses the software. It'll report back their IP address, their username, and it does all these analytics, and it's absolutely crazy. No, that's awesome, and, and that you still keep it up too for the you know mm -hmm. twelve people out there that still that still play Unreal Tournament. You know, well, well, and it's, it's built to be very lightweight. So all I it, it takes a standard shared hosting account. Um, it is a deluxe shared account though, so it is actually uh, it's geo redundant. So if one data center goes down, it'll still stay up. But yeah, it's. Uh, it was on, it was hacked once, but the guy was a legitimate or a, you know one of the good guys and mm. said here here's what I did fix it. Oh and cool. Yeah, ever since it's been good and, and and it was the first project, so you know I'm following tutorials trying to learn my way through it and it was a glitch with the login that actually allowed SQL injection and I feel kind of embarrassed <laughs> that that is even possible and uh, don't you never know, will happen again. I was gonna say don't feel embarrassed about <laughs> SQL injection. The amount of like high profile production sites that are vulnerable to the SQL injection even today is yeah insane like it, i don't know why people don't sanitize input it, it's the first thing i was taught ever about input is, yeah hey user input is suspect check that shit out <laughs> you know, like, yeah it, yeah accepting info from you always have to think of everyone as a criminal really exactly. i mean and you don't want to you don't want to think that way but you have to it's maybe they don't know any better maybe they're putting to put something in the form that they think is right and maybe it has a character and your uh, system's going to screw up yeah exactly i mean it's even like you say it's even more than just data validation you know you're yeah. not going to just check for a state name but you also got to check and make sure they didn't throw a you know semicolon bobby drop tables in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh that's very true favorite xkcd ever <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's great. It's great having you on the show. Um, tell us a little bit yeah. uh, about where we can find more more stuff you do. Oh, sure. Um, well, I stay on Twitter. I don't post too much, but um, you'll see me uh, if I'm doing anything interesting. I try to update my website, sergeantmuffin.com. It's just a basic WordPress site. Um, and yeah, other than that, I try to just stay in the chat realm. So you know, I sign out. I sign out when I'm at work, and I usually just keep it minimized, popping in on occasion. Otherwise, if I'm here. I just have it up on one big screen that's up on the wall here. It's on all the time. So, um, you know, if you ever have any questions or you need assistance, I'll be glad to help you where I can. No, that's awesome. And you did, you missed one other thing that, that I know you wanted, or that I wanted to plug for you anyway, and that's uh, dctvgaming.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's, I don't know, it's newer. I guess we really haven't uh, done too much with it yet, but right now it has a Flash Arcade area, so you can play some fun Flash games from back in the day. It'll report your score back to the server, and it's uh, pretty interesting. You'll see that uh, Skank and Waffle uh, is a friend of mine. He stole most of the scores, so feel free to take them down for me. Uh -huh. And, uh, uh, yeah, and then we're, we have a, a game server that's ridiculously overpowered. We have uh, is it a eight cores, 24 gigs of RAM, and a really high-speed connection. So nice. we, we got to make use of it. So if you guys have a game server that you would like to see out there um i'll be happy to set it up we got a tf2 one we got to get working uh that we moved over to the server but we went from windows to linux and uh it's it, there's a little more work than we thought so uh yeah. <laughs> once that's up uh we also have a minecraft server and the details you can find in the forums there so if you want to hop in we're we're playing modded versions so make sure you know you follow all the instructions yeah you know we may have to get ourselves a, an old school quake 2 server or something going yeah, there fun. we go. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's even available anymore. Have to oh, check come that on. Out. Everything's possible. Yeah, I'm There's sure some it is. site that still has it. Yeah, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's around, but yeah. well, excellent. Thank you for very much for joining me, Dan, or Sergeant Muffin, whichever works. Um, <laughs> whatever for, works, yeah. Whatever works, you know. Uh, for everybody mm -hmm. else, you know, you can check out uh, more answers to my dumb questions. I have more episodes of the show at tinvec.com slash DD and uh, links are there to uh, you know, subscribe on RSS and iTunes. Uh, anything else before we head out of here? No, it's a it's a pleasure, and it's nice to be the uh, first guy in season two. And I I looked at the schedule. I'm so excited to see who you have coming up. It's great. Oh yeah, we'll we'll leave that as a, a spoiler free area there because we have a lot of fun yeah. people coming up this season. So uh, yep, you know? and that's why I'm just saying I I'm I, the few people I saw and it's just it's amazing. I can't wait to see. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you very much for joining me, and we'll uh, ride the elevator out of here. No, my chair doesn't go down enough. <laughs> As Subdon says, nerds! <laughs> <laughs>
Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>